So for today's show, we've been told to think outside the box. I like it. Some blue sky thinking. Let's reinvent the wheel. Push the needle. Move the envelope. What? Don't know, I've read it in a business book. Right, well, I'm thinking to think outside the box, we think inside the box. Ah, I like it. Hannah, you know what to do. This is Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. Welcome back to Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. E. We are only two days away from the semi-final of the World Cup and I'm so happy that we have Hannah Hampton with us. How are you, Hannah? I'm all good, thanks. How good, are you guys? Good. Oh, all good. Welcome to the studio. It's good to have you here. As always, you can get in touch at home as well. How do you do that? Surely you know by now. Of course, jump onto the hashtag Lionesses Down Under. We want to hear from you. Hannah, final four teams left in the World Cup. It must be a special feeling. Yeah, it is unbelievable, to be fair. We were talking about it at lunch today, that this week we're going into week eight or nine of being together wow. the whole time, as a, starting from camp. So, yeah, it's been a long time, but unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it has been a long time, but the matches are just coming thick and oh, fast mate, now as yeah. well. Back in training already. I mean, how are preparations going for that? Some uh, great saves as well, you know, even though that wasn't today, because it's been raining. <laughs> yeah, that was actually nice weather. I was, <laughs> I was roasting in these sessions. And obviously it doesn't help the fact that I've got layers on all the time. But no, training has been so enjoyable. Um, I've really enjoyed it, apart from the bits where I'm getting absolutely pelted in the finishing sessions, but um, no, it's been great. This is bringing back uh, flashbacks for me from Aston Villa when I couldn't score past Hannah like once <laughs> in the shooting drills. But speaking of obviously goalkeepers, we've had some special moments in the tournament so far, some great saves. Is there any that stands out from what you've seen? Um, I definitely think this is a tournament for keepers to, to show what we're about, but... Um, I mean, there's been incredible. Zarisha in uh, the Sweden team's been unreal. Yeah. Obviously, you've got Daphne who's been doing well with the with the Holland team, but you can't look past Mary Ups, can you really? Yeah. Um, best yeah. in the world. So she's been putting on some unreal performances to, to keep us in games to, to let us win. Jill, we've already seen a glimpse of it. The goalkeeper union. Here yeah. we go, here we are. We've already seen the first <laughs> glimpse of it, okay? Yeah. I want to talk about that because here's the three goalkeepers. Um, look at that, all posing. I'm oh, wow. really interested to see what you and Mary spotted that Ellie obviously didn't see right there because she's looking in a completely different direction. <laughs> Let's talk about this. So you brought up Mary Earps. In a previous interview, Ellie Roebuck mentioned that she sees your and her job to actually help Mary bring out the best of her in training yeah. as well. Talk to me about that support, the goalkeepers union between the three of you. How is that? Yeah, it's strong. Um, definitely the union is, is a team within the team. But um, no, myself and Ellie are just, just doing whatever we, we need for, for Mary and whatever she, she requires before the games. But yeah, we're having great fun with it, so um, there's a few inside jokes going around here and there, but yeah, whatever Mary needs, we're always there to support her. Yeah, and she's had a good tournament so far, yeah. but we know that as keepers, you're all a little bit different as well. What would you say <laughs> each you. of your strengths are? <laughs> yeah, a little bit different, I meant from each other, but oh, what, would you say, <laughs> what would you say your key strengths are? Yeah. I know you've got a few, but come on, big yourself up. Um, gosh, I think for me it would probably be kicking. Yeah. distribution that um, I'd like to say is up there with one of my strengths but um, I mean you look at Mary just the, the agile that she's getting there the, the height so I mean Mary's just got it all round hasn't she but <laughs> Robes is so good with with short sharp distribution and her shot stopping abilities and just the handling is unreal yeah um, so you definitely try and take bits from each other's game to help with your own yeah. um, and obviously at the end of the day we help each other be the best that we can and if we can take people people's strengths from their game and try and add it to ours then you know we're always going to be the best uh, GK union with England so. yeah a team within a team you're yeah, already spotting that go. I can you see can it uh, let's talk about that game I mean Australia we know what they're capable of what's the key to getting a good result do you think against them I think it's just playing the way that we have been um playing with that bit of freedom that everyone can express themselves with and, and just going out and enjoying it I think We've all been enjoying ourselves so much recently and you can tell that in the performances. So we're all um, 
put in the hard work for each other, help each other out, and and I'm sure I'm sure the results will be coming. Yeah, and we know that we're going to be outnumbered in Sydney. Me and yeah. Carl, I haven't even got a voice because I've been singing we'll find one. from minute one until the end. Coming. But what do you feel about the crowd? Do you think England will be able to block it out, like use it as fuel going into the game? Yeah, I definitely think we use it as, as, as fuel. Um, I mean, if you look back to the Columbia game, that national anthem from Columbia gave everyone goosebumps, yeah. whether you support them or not. Just being in that environment and that atmosphere was was unbelievable. But we managed to to block that out and get on with our own game. So I think it's just going to be a case of just doing that again. And um, yeah, I, I think there will obviously be a bit more bit more atmosphere going into this game, but I'm sure we'll we'll be able to manage manage just well. Well, let's talk about outside of football because you said week eight or nine now. Yeah. I've not seen you without a smile this entire time. Every time <laughs> we're walking around base camp, you've always got a smile. How much have you enjoyed being here in Australia? I honestly loved it. Like being... Wanting to come to Australia has always been part of like a, a dream that I've wanted to do. Um, and so when I knew that the World Cup was going to be joint here with the New Zealand, I was like, I'm going to make sure I get to get in that squad because I've always wanted to, to come. Um, and we saw Sydney the other day, like we've not been to Sydney and we've got to go for like obviously staying in the hotel and we were so close to the Opera House. I was literally, <laughs> my jaw was on the floor. I was like, this is unbelievable. Yeah, I've loved it. It is an amazing place. It is. It? it really is. But um, yeah, so we're also found that you've been doing a little bit of colouring in as well. Have we mm, seen we people have. colouring in? Have you spent a bit of time in the, the Scott room? <laughs> she, she's oh, not stopped going on about this. going on about that. <laughs> it looks very therapeutic though, doesn't it? I mean, here's Georgia. She she found a spot there. Have you, have you found yourself in yeah. there? Yeah. I've not on, on that wall just yet, but I have been doing all the little the little po like cards that we have outside. Yeah. There's definitely been a group at night who who stays down and do some colouring. Yeah. I actually don't so. think you're meant to colour on this wall. And Georgia just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna go a bit rogue and just <laughs> oh, actually start colouring well, the walls. There you go. Uh, but that's it's Georgia. Been, it's been filled in the wall though. Oh, is it now complete? Is it all it's filled not, in? It's not all complete. I'm not but it is in. getting there. Only Jill is. Oh. Yeah, not me. I'm not, not allowed to do it. I actually um, coloured this in all red. Do you like oh, it? Yeah, love it, love yeah, it. That good. must have taken you a while. Took a lot spot. of work. Yeah, yeah. just a little there. bit. That's your job. <laughs> so also, we have double trouble for you today, and I don't oh, mean no. me and Kyle. I know you've been watching all the episodes because it's the best show you've ever seen, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yesterday we had Alessia Russo and Lauren Hemp on the show, and they okay. wanted to ask you this question. Hi, Hannah. Our challenge for you is you've got 30 seconds to draw the best portrait of Carl and Jill. Oh, no. Right, so, wow. 30 seconds to draw a portrait of me and Jill, okay? Because they were talking about your drawing skills. We've got a, no, a, a, a yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what you've got to do, okay? They were talking about how good you are at colouring, at drawing, how much time you spent there. So we've got um, <laughs> some paper and a pen just by your feet, just there, I okay? I knew what this was going to be called. Cool. Okay. Um, cool. Luckily, um, I, I made sure. Guys, I, this is not fair. I mean, she has been I'm, stitched up a little bit. They said you're good at colouring in. Do <laughs> a portrait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? So you've got to get our best I'm, sides, okay? I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'll probably end up drawing you as a stick, people. I'm afraid. Yeah, oh, that's oh, fine. That's all right. As long as you get my my eyebrows and my eyelashes and a beautiful face that's oh, okay yeah i'll try my yeah. best right let's get 30, 30 seconds, seconds on the clock oh, God, 30 ready? seconds let's see ready? right three, three two, two one, one go. go come on then <laughs> you are literally just going to be a stick person if it's a caricature don't give us a big nose no i feel like whenever i get that done they just draw this big nose. you're leaning a bit i got my uh, hair done the other day make sure you get the fade <clears throat> 20 seconds to go <laughs> no i'm best just side. uh Turn Get in your eyelashes in. There oh, you go, your okay. brows. Okay. Ten You've seconds to go. This. Oh, Jill, don't hold up much hope, to be honest, because Come on, 30 seconds is not Three, a lot of time. Two, you need to do two people. One, him. Oh, okay. Just get in your bench. Oh, oh God. There you go. <laughs> That's, right, okay, right. let's have a look. Let's see. You're smiling. Oh, oh, oh. That's actually right. decent. Show, show this camera oh, right here. Hold it up for oh, us, okay? That is actually decent. You're both smiling. I've given you a bit of frizzy hair, I'm afraid. Okay, um, okay my barb won't be happy Sorry. with that over here. All right. well, like I'll to take know, that. We'll like to know what people think from home. So I'm drop us that. a message. Hashtag lionesses down under. Or should <laughs> Hannah stick to goalkeeping? 
<laughs> Maybe. Or, or, I mean, probably. Or longer than 30 <laughs> seconds. It's all right. I, I like that. Well I like done, that. Hannah. Thanks. Right. Thanks, guys. Well, we have mentioned that uh, we're just 48 hours yeah. away from England, Australia, the semi-final of the World Cup. A huge game, obviously calls for a huge guest as well. Yeah. Joining us on the line is Carly Telford, Lioness legend. Welcome, Carly. Oh, uh, your best mate it. as well, Jill. Yeah. Um, and welcome <laughs> to the show. How are you doing? Um, I'm not going to lie, guys. It's uh, currently what time? Quarter to seven in the morning. Um, I'm a little bit tired, but I couldn't miss out on this opportunity. One, to see you guys, Jill and Kyle, and obviously three, to see the lovely Hannah. So here I am, slightly, slightly tired, but very much looking forward to this. She's actually fuming about this early start. <laughs> she, did, she did text us before and said, wait until I see you. But Carly, so nice to see you. This is how we have to catch up nowadays. But um, how have you been enjoying the World Cup? What are you thinking of England? Uh, I'm, honestly, I'm so proud of them, but I'm just buzzing because I made my predictions pretty early doors that England were going to get to the final and win it and everyone was going, well, you know, we're going to get like Australia or Canada last 16 and then the Germans will be waiting in the quarterfinal. And I'm like, well, where are they now? <laughs> um, so <laughs> Australia, um, I'm just like, it's set up, I think, perfectly. And I'm just getting those kind of summer 22 feelings that everything's starting to look like it's going our way a little bit so no I'm um, I'm buzzing for the girls it's been an amazing World Cup I think for everyone um obviously unless you got knocked out but in terms of like as a whole for women's football it's been unbelievable like it really has and obviously you've gauged how well it's um, doing back home as well because you were at yeah. the big football day event for England's opener against Haiti uh, talk to us about the impact that Hannah and the rest of the team have had back home uh, especially those young girls that they're seeing um, all their incredible heroes go on to achieve so many things it looked like a great day out oh it was fantastic and luckily the weather the weather held out but I remember when I turned up, there was so many young kids. And one of the pictures, it was like an under, I think it was like under five, so proper little doddies. But um, the guy was telling me that they only actually have five members from the club that were actually there. And there was 20 girls on that pitch. So like 15 had turned up just for that day and had signed up to the club. Wow. And that just shows, that was, I think, the first or second game of the tournament. So I can only imagine how many girls. It's like, it's, he was like, honestly, it's out of control. They'll have to get more coaches, more facilities, like what the girls are doing. It's, they're inspiring. And you know what the nicest thing is? It's not just little girls, there's little boys as well. Um, and I just think it's amazing to see, like being in America last year and kind of missing the Euros and the effect it had, but then coming home and seeing the pubs filled, people like basing their days and weekends around the England games, like men, women, boys. There was, I went and upgraded my phone the other day and there was a lad in there, he was like mid thirties. And he said him and the lads, there was like 15 of them, were going to the pub on at 11.30 for the game on Saturday um, to watch the Cameroon game before they went and watched the Premier League game. And that was their kind of whole weekend based around the girls playing. I'm like, like that would never have happened like five years ago. Wow, so um, that's amazing. it's unreal. Like it's, it's affecting all ages, all genders. And it's just amazing to see what the girls are doing. So yeah, no pressure girls, but uh, let's bring it home. <laughs> and we, know you, we know that you upgraded that EE mobile. So um, Carly, look at you now, 2007 World Cup. I remember me and you getting selected for that squad. We felt like we'd won a competition. I think we had about two caps between us and then going on and being a constant through to the 2019 World Cup where you played the semi-final against USA. How important is yeah. it to always stay ready, always stay sharp and ready to grab that opportunity? Yeah, I mean, like I say, I've been blessed since 2007, gone to three World Cups, two Euros, which sounds amazing, but I only actually played in one of them, which was the World Cup in 2019. So... I think as well, when you look at the likes of Hannah and Ellie and, and Mary and, and everyone that's been around that squad, how, how long you have to like wait as a goalkeeper to get your opportunity. But I think one thing I always took is that I got left out of a Euro squad. I think it was the 2013 one when you guys won silver in uh, Germany. And I always remember thinking, or in Finland, and I always remember thinking like it was the worst thing ever missing that tournament. I hated every moment of it. Like one, my friends and everything like were there and I just... As, as much as I was third choice, second choice in these tournaments, I never wanted to miss one because you generally make the best memories of your lives with these tournaments with some of the best mates you'll ever make in your career as well. Um, and like like you said earlier, I think being ready was a huge thing because um, when my opportunity did come, I just had no doubts, no fears that when I stepped over that white line, I was ready for this moment. And I think I'd waited, waited so patiently when I got my opportunity after the game. I remember having 
the most amount of lovely messages from people that were like, oh my God, Carly, we've fo followed your career for like 10, 15 years. We're so happy to see it. And I think being a good person, being a good human, being supportive of the girls around you, whether that's the goalkeeper union or the team, I just think that like it just makes it so much more special when you get the opportunity because everyone around you recognises how hard you've worked and how patient you've been for that moment. So as much as we all want to play, we know there's only one person that can. Um, but yeah, being there and being able to support it and enjoying the whole tournament um, for what it is, is just so important as well because not many people get to see they're a lioness and they get to go to a World Cup and even win a Euros or a World Cup as well. So to have the opportunities is amazing. So yeah, I loved the tournament. I think that was when we scored against USA to um, tie it all up. I wasn't look like that at the end of the game when we ended up losing two <laughs> one. Um, but yeah, it was it was an amazing tournament for me for for personal reasons. But obviously, we would have loved to have gone uh, one step further, which hopefully the girls can on Wednesday. Yeah, uh, it was an amazing tournament for you as well because in the quarters to get to that semi final in two thousand and nineteen, three 0 against Norway. Jill Scott on the score sheet. I mean, yeah, I did actually. You, I mean, you can remember that one? Yeah, I think the ball actually hit us, to be honest. Carly, <laughs> Carly with a big hug at the end. I think she was more happy than me. <laughs> Carly, just mentioned there, I mean, that success and quarterfinals, we've been there, semi finals, we've been there before. What do you think is different this time? And can the team go one step further? Is a, a World Cup final calling us? That me and Carly aren't there, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a common denominator here. <laughs> um, no, I think it's, I think it's, you know what it is? It's really hard getting over that kind of winning line. And we've never done it before. But you just look at what the girls did last summer and they just have no fear. Uh, the mixture, the blend of like the the mature players, let's say, and, and the youngsters that some of them don't know any different of winning. They've been in this team and all they've done is win trophies. Um, so to have that kind of mix and that blend and, and to say that they've done it in front of a huge home crowd with hu huge home pressures, they, they take it to Australia as European champions. And you just think that, OK, you can argue that we maybe haven't even played our best football yet and we're still winning games like this team just doesn't know how to lose, basically. And that's an amazing thing to have and I know we've been kind of banded around as maybe we're the new mentality monsters but you've got to argue that we have some of the best talent as well within that group so I think that mixture of the psychological edge of like never giving up never giving in and always believing that we're going to find a way to win with some super super special talent that's not just on the pitch that's off it I just think it's a it's an unbelievable squad that we've got and some of the players that even missed out of that and that aren't even in that squad yet um, it's, it's crazy to think about. But yeah, I just think that, that the thing that we were missing was knowing what it feels like to win a major tournament. And we've done that now. And I just think that we've got, we're so close to it, but these girls just don't know how, unfortunately, to lose a major tournament yet. And I just don't believe that they're going to stop. They're going to start this tournament. And uh, I just really hope that we do, we do the double and really create something special because I think the girls, are, the girls really deserve it. Yeah. And we've actually all been in England camp together. Not you, Kyle. Sorry, but it was back in <laughs> 2021. Me, Carly, Hannah Hampton. I think we might have a little bit of a picture. Hannah, oh you look about nine years old on that picture. I think I'm not in 18 or 19. Oh, my God. Yeah, that gosh. wasn't that long ago. I know, yeah, yeah. You look so young. But what was it like <laughs> training with Carly and what did you learn from her? Yeah, um, it, going into the, the first camps and the seniors, it was, it was really... Um, really strange because I looked up to everyone in that squad yeah. and I still do because you, you paved the way for us nowadays and for me I didn't know much about goalkeeping I went, came into it quite late so I, I looked at who was current England line, lionesses and, and for me the one who stood out the most was Carly mm -hmm. so I was always watching Carly obviously when she was at Chelsea and, and, and um, trying to take as much as I could from her games and obviously the journeys that she had I could I could um, relate to in quite a few ways. So um, going into that camp, I was probably too scared to, to speak to CT for the very first time. So she was probably thinking, oh my gosh, he's so rude. She don't want to speak to me. But no, it's because I was so starstruck. But um, you know, I, I learned so much from, from Carly and, and um, still, still do now. Um, there's so many things that you, that you can take that you don't realise that, that later when things come that... Um, that you, you remembered having that conversation back back then. So, yeah, um, yeah you definitely learn from it still. Oh, it's lovely, Amazing. isn't it? Yeah, very beautiful words uh, right <laughs> there. Well, Carly, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on Lionesses Down Under. Thank you for joining us on the show. Uh, hopefully we'll see you in Australia soon. 
Yeah, yeah, touchdown Thursday evening, so no pressure, guys. Make sure you get through that uh, <laughs> final, and I will see you. I'll see you both hopefully um, in the final, and Hannah, I'll see you there too, hopefully. But uh, honestly, thank you so much for having me. Hannah, good luck. Enjoy every single moment. I promise uh, you'll look back, and it will be the best days of your life. So, um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. Get back to bed, Carly. Yeah. <laughs> I've got work in an hour. Thanks, Jill. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank see you, you later, so guys. much. See you see later. Yeah. Bye bye. Uh, amazing. We have great guests here as well, but we also have plenty of viewer interaction on the show. Use the hashtag lionesses down under. We love seeing your messages of support. But what I love most is getting all of your questions and giving them to Jill to uh, read out for yes. us. So, Jill, you've whittled it down. There's been plenty of them. What have we got today? Loads of questions for you, Hannah over the uh, previous week. So Maisie Duggan got in touch to ask, what three words would you use to describe goalkeeping? Ooh. Only three. Um, <laughs> come on, Gosh. you can big it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, goalkeeping. Well, um, I'd say enjoyable. Yeah. Mm, okay, I'll take that. Um, <laughs> I'd say brave. Really nice. Yeah. Um, you go into some of those, I think. Yeah, I'd say different because you've got to be a bit different to want to be a goalkeeper. Yeah. I, I was going to say that. Everyone says it, so I'll put it in there. Making, so everyone's sure going to say it. I'm sure you use the word weird in rehearsals. Oh, thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks. Dude. Appreciate that one. I'm glad I didn't make it. That's why. I hate that. <laughs> right, so um, what we're going for? Enjoyable, different, 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 and brave. Brave. Yeah. Different. And, um, it's hard work with the hyphen. Oh, we'll yeah. take that. Yeah, we'll you give can you that one. Yeah, we'll give you that it's your show, you can <laughs> do what you want. So Wendy Wright mm. wants to know, did you play in any outfield positions before being a goalkeeper or were you always just a goalkeeper? Just a goalkeeper? Just a, oh, wow. oh, no. Absolutely on. not. Um, yeah, I started striker. Oh, did um, you? Yeah, when I was about five, I started as a striker and I didn't convert to a goalkeeper until I was probably... 14. I started being a goalkeeper when I was 12 and yeah. I got selected for England when I was 12. But at club, I kept playing outfield, but only played a goal on camp. Wow. So I did like half, half the I game. I didn't have any positions. I wasn't allowed <laughs> to play. You've got two. You're playing both. Yeah. No wonder <laughs> Hannah can put the ball top corner on a penalty every single time. Now I know why, because you're yeah, a striker. Yeah. So <laughs> Senork10 on Insta asked Hannah, what is the most important thing to focus on while training to be a keeper? Most important thing. Do you know what? I think it's honestly just the basics, just the technique. On mm -hmm. You get that mastered, then you can cover all aspects of shot stopping, really. Yeah. Um, now the things that we do the most in, in sessions, you're probably taking about 50 volleys from Wardy every single session. And he goes, don't drop one. So, um, yeah, I definitely think just the basics of your handling and your technique is by far the one to, to focus on the most. That's a goalkeeper coach, and he's always asking for a shout out. To yeah, you. I've yeah, done well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that one in. he tell you to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop that one, and I'll go back, and I'll be like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> have I got time for one more? Go on, I'll let you Thank have you. it. Thank you. And supporting England lionesses on Insta wants to know. I think that might be my mum. <laughs> is there a goalkeeper union group, and if so, who texts the most? Do you have a little goalkeeper? Yeah, there is. Do you? Yeah, there is. Oh, okay. A team um, within a team. There exactly. You are. Yeah. No, there is. Um, do you know what? I think it is mainly just Wardy telling us what we're doing and where we've got to be and all this, that and the other. Yeah. Um, but there is there is a group and always the the rest, us three, are just like having a little dig at Wardy for some things that he's, he's mentioning here and there. But it's all good and fun and games, isn't it? A bit of laugh you need it within, yeah. within this environment. So, um, yeah. Well, he's got two shout outs. So I know. You better, be, uh, yeah. you better be like, pay me for this. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Well, you can keep on getting in touch. Use the hashtag lionesses down under. But Hannah, the questions don't stop there. That's because, oh, we've got these, all right. These are all from your teammates, OK? Right. But they're all anonymous, so you won't know who's asked the question. <laughs> so you can choose one of these. It's at random. You won't know whose it's from. Right. You can open it up for us, um, and then you can fire away. You will be reading the question out, and you'll give us the answer to it as well. I'm not very good at opening these. That's all right. No one is. Everyone has been saying about how bad they are at opening these. Oh, it's OK. These are... Kyle, I've just realised my T-shirt. <gasps> 
I wanted to bring this up. Hear you. Yes, I mean, you. I know you're a local. You like coffee uh, around base camp. You've been going. You got a tan as well. Oh, thanks. Yeah. So, you, you, are you an Australian now? I'll have my England top on tomorrow. Of course, okay. of course, you will. Sorry. All right, there we go. Have we, have we opened it? Yeah. Good to go. It's actually, a really nice question. What does it say? Yeah. Who or what has made you smile today? Oh. <coughs> Obviously. <laughs> I mean, seeing CT was quite nice, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was, that no. was, yeah, yeah. Um, to be fair, that's No, a good to be one. fair, a lot of things have made me smile today. Um, I sit by Ez on the bus to and from training, and she's rattling through bracelets for the whole team. Oh. And just like watching her do her bracelets, and like, it's so nice to see and like so wholesome. Um, Is she making everybody one? Yeah. Oh, I wow. mean, you have to request. There's a, yeah. there's a list of requests. <laughs> <laughs> She's quite full on it, so you're going to have to get in there early. Okay. Um, but, yeah, just speaking to Ez and seeing her doing her bracelets was, um, did, make, did make me uh, have oh, a nice smile too from training. Hashtag wholesome oh, right yeah. there. Look at the smile on your face yeah. as well. Right, Hannah, I've got a question for you. Okay. I know you can line up a wall, but can you line up bricks and take on... Oh. Dum dum dum! <laughs> the tower. You feeling confident? No. No. <laughs> really not. It's all right. I think you've got this, Hannah. All right. Now, whilst we talk tactics, okay. I can't say anything during the game, but I can tell you before it. Let's take a look at how the rest of the lionesses have done so far. Right. Let's get thirty seconds on the clock. Three, two, two one, go! Go, go on, Lauren. Oh, straight you in there. Talk. I know. Go yeah. on. Nice and quick. Yeah, Lauren, you need to be quick. We've only had ten seconds. Kyle, I'm not appreciating your commentary. Have, have a little rest. feel around. I am trying, Jill. It's not easy. It's not easy. Oh my go. God! Two at a time. Wow. Five, four, three. Get one more. Get one more. Get one more. Quick, quick, quick! Lauren! Ah! <laughs> you was... said pull it. <laughs> Can you get another one? Another one. Quick, quick, quick! No! <laughs> 113 Woo! seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Go so on. scared right now. <laughs> wow, it's so a bit eventful. This, this is it. Okay, so you have to build the tower as high as you can in 30 right. seconds. If you get the gold blocks, they're worth more points. So a few tips. Some people have done a little tapping. Some oh. people have took two at a time. You can support, you can do two anything you want. Okay. Feeling confident? No. Okay, well, uh, five points if you get one layer, ten points if you get uh, one of the golden blocks in there as well. That's how uh, Neve Charles raced to the very top, okay? Height 113 yeah. centimetres, 45 points. Gold. Although, did she just I was. for the gold? She did. Well, Beth England did. Uh, Goldie Blocks, that was Jill's nickname <laughs> for her, got 60 <laughs> points, all right. But Lauren Hemp, oh, slow shit. and steady, okay? 109 centimetres. She was just relaxed. She was building them, got all the way up there. If you're quick, do two at a time. So you're going for more height? Height. 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 It's all so about height. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I feel short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, are you feeling confident? Um, I'm going to yeah. keep asking you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Right, well, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. go. Ah, Straight one. in. Oh, don't tumble it. You've got to go quick. You've got to go quick. Two at oh, a time. Oh, that is a risky move. I'm not saying anything. I get in trouble for talking. Yeah, okay. that is a risky move. You've had, 20 sec you've had 10 seconds, I should say. Oh, wow, you're going for it. Hannah's all right, straight in there, to be fair. All right, 15 seconds. You had half your time. I'm liking oh. this. That's all right. Oh, 10 seconds to go. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Oh, right, one more, get good. one more. Can you get one more, please? Quick. Oh, get nervous. Ah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's it. Time done. Time done. Time done. Okay. Oh, 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 Hannah Hampton. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at that. It's, if you actually just look. I don't know how that is staying on. This is brilliant. Okay, that's off. That, right, that, so no. 109 centimetres. 109 centimetres. That was, that was ruthless, I'll take that. to be fair. 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 points as well, so oh. you actually go second. Oh. So 109 with 40 points. That's really good. That's brilliant. You've I'll gone take that. Yeah, that was yeah. great. Oh, if, you want, if you would have got one more, well, you literally, I know if you had to complete it, you would have you would have tied with Neve. Brilliant stuff oh. right there. How, how are you oh, feeling that after really that performance? Good. Yeah, I'll take that. That's better than what I thought. I was shaking the whole way through, so I was thinking I'm going to knock this over. <laughs> Maybe I should just keep quiet. I know, <laughs> sure see, Maybe see. it is me. Maybe it is and my fault. no one goes away empty-handed. Look at that one. I know, it's literally okay. hanging up. <laughs> so, Hannah, oh. Hannah, Fanna. <laughs> <laughs> like that one. <laughs> That's yours. 
<laughs> they just get worse yeah. and worse, these, don't they? All oh, right. Uh, too long as well. Uh, well, well. That's your lot then for Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. -E. A huge thank you. Everyone in the studio, oh. give Hannah Hampton a massive round of applause. <laughs> Woo! And can we keep Australia at bay? We'll be discussing that tomorrow with Georgia Stanway. Redeemed yourself. Thank you redeemed you yourself right there. 12.30, you'll be able to find us. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok. We will see you there. I need to do this. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>